Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates. I'm the founder and director of the firm. And uh, today we're continuing our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about child support and the relationship between the payment of child support and the rights associated with being a father. I'm going to say father because in most cases you got the father paying child support and the mother receiving. doesn't always have to be that way though. I'm going to use that in this example, but understand these rules apply if it's flipped around. If mother's paying child support and father's receiving. But let's say it's like this. Father has a duty to pay child support. The child lives with mom. Mom takes care of the child. The child has visitation. But dad, he hasn't paid a dime in child support for months. The question then becomes, and we'll always ask this question, because he hasn't paid support, do I have to produce the child for parenting time? And the answer is, yes, you do. Unless the court tells you otherwise, you're obligated to live up to your duties, even though someone else is shirking theirs. We see this in so many different contexts. Um, I remember years ago during the uh, mortgage crisis, I would get this call all the time. I'm a tenant. I live in a building. Um, I've been paying rent, but I found out that my landlord's not paying the bank, so do I still have to pay rent? And I would always tell him, what does his obligation have to do with yours? If he's a bad guy because he's not meeting his obligation, that doesn't give you a license to be a bad guy. you got to do what's right. You're living in a place, you pay. You don't have to worry about his business and what he pays. It's between him and the bank. It's sort of the same kind of thing here. If He's not paying child support, shame on him. That should be brought to the attention of the court. But you, you have a responsibility to encourage the parenting time. You still have a duty to produce that child for parenting time on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 9, or whatever your schedule is, alternating weekends, alternating holidays. And until the court relieves you of that responsibility, you better make sure you comply. The worst thing that can happen is you come to court and say, well, he's not paying child support. And he says, well, Your Honor, she hasn't let me see the kids in forever. So while they're not related, how can you blame me for not complying? She doesn't have clean hands. She's not complying either. That's the worst thing. You never want to be that what the person who's also not complying. How can you complain about one person when you yourself don't care about the court's order? So the way to handle it is this. If someone isn't paying support, you file motions. You file an appropriate show cause. You ask that the court hold them in contempt. You can ask the court to suspend parenting time until such time as they catch up on the support. You can do that. But until the court enters an order that suspends parenting time until further notice, until the court does that, you're still obligated. And my advice is always going to be follow the court's order. Follow the court's order, and if you don't want to follow it because you don't think it's fair, you can't make that decision. You're not wearing the black robe. The judge wears the black robe, and that means he or she makes that call. So you've got to make sure in that situation, if you feel it's unjust, if you don't want to produce the child for parenting time, uh, if you don't want to do that because there's no support coming, you have to bring it to the court's attention. The court's going to conduct a hearing, and then the court is going to determine what the appropriate sanction is whether or not that includes suspending parenting time. And it may well include that, but you've got to go through proper channels. If you have any questions about that, reach out, and we'll be glad to help you out.